नमस्कार टुडे वील डू द सब्जेक्ट जियोग्राफी ऑफ ग्रेड सेवेन एंड एस चैप्टर नंबर थ्री इज टाइड्स वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ टाइड्स टाइड मीन्स वेड्स नाउ लुक एट दिस पिक्चर इन दिस पिक्चर वी हैव टू पिक्स टू इमेजेस ऑफ वॉटर नाउ लुक एट दिस डू द फोटोग्राफ शो द सेम प्लेस और डिफरेंट प्लेस means this photograph is showing same or different so the answer will be the photograph show the same place both the places are same next question observe and note the spread of water seen in both the photographs means how the water is spreading so in figure 3.1a we can see the water is very close to the coast and in figure 3.1b we can see the sea water is far away from the coast yani in a image we can see very close water from the coast and in b we can see the far uh, the water far away from the coast what is this natural event called so this natural event is called high tide and low tide now let us start our subject and chapter from high tide and low tide What is meant by high tide and what is meant by low tide? Sometimes the sea water close to the coast, and in other time it is far to the coast. When it is close to the coast, it means the high tide, and it is far from the coast, it means the low tide. Natural phenomena. What is the meaning of phenomena? Phenomena means event happened. So whatever the naturally event happened. it also based on high tide and low tide sometime if any calamities calamities happen so at that time the waves the tides are very close to the coast there is a few exceptions all the coast on the earth experience tides bearing means except bearing means except except some of the sea coast there are many other sea coast who is facing high tides and low tides now next topic is cycle of high and low tide cycle means continuation of high tide and low tide movements of sea water daily and regularly see in the sea coast or in any river water never stop flowing they always flow like a waves sometime it is high tides and sometime it is low level changes after specific period all the waves are not same sometimes we can see the waves are very big and sometimes we can see the waves are very slow also and small also so there are certain specific period at that time this this kind of tides changes after every 2 hours and 25 minutes cycle gets completed for completing one cycle for completing one complete rotation we want we have 12 hours and 25 minutes it takes 12 hours and 25 minutes to complete the proper cycle next now what is the reason of signs behind the tides why signs are also present in tides regularly occurring quite simple and natural it means that whatever the tides they continue occurs sometimes it is very simple and sometimes it is also a natural means sometimes the waters are very silently flow and sometimes it is very naturally sometimes uh, high tide and low tide also occur related to celestial bodies and gravitational and centrifugal forces see it the relation between celestial bodies celestial bodies means the sun the moon and the earth they are also related to tides and also the gravitational force gravitational force means when the uh, when anything pull towards gravity it is known as gravitational force and centrifugal centrifugal means move away move away from center move away from center is known as centrifugal force so this celestial bodies gravitational force and centrifugal force are also present while they have while the high tide and low tide occur centrifugal force the power or force that the earth gets due to its rotation is called centrifugal what is the meaning of centrifugal means whatever the power whatever the strength whatever the force the earth gets because of centrifugal it is known as 
centrifugal force means the earth gets the power from centrifugal the center part of the earth next the force works away from the center of the earth all the force whatever the force will be there they act, they exact on the center of the earth on the center of the earth now next topic is gravitational force gravitational force it is very easy see whatever the thing if we thrown upside because of the gravity that object comes towards the earth comes towards the earth the centrifugal force any object on the earth would be thrown into the space means if any object you throw upside of the space it is working towards the center of the earth and directly it will it will pull towards the earth surface of the place remains where it exists means surface of the place the layer of that place particular place it is exists next is factors factors responsible for the occurrence of tides factors means facts factors means fact now who is responsible for this kind of tides what is the fact related to the tides gravitational pull of the celestial bodies first of all gravitational pull yani gravitational force it is very important so gravitational force pull that celestial bodies to up, uh, towards the side celestial bodies means the sun the moon and the earth next revolution of the earth around the sun we already know that earth revolved around the sun and it is direct but the moon also revolve indirectly around the sun because moon moon rotate around the earth but indirectly it is also revolve around the sun also centrifugal force generated due to the rotation of the earth centrifugal force act because of the rotation of the earth means because of this rotation of the earth centrifugal force are also showing their actions see the next point effectiveness of the gravitational force of the moon and that of the sun it means the gravitational force of the moon become more effective than that of the sun the moon is closer to the earth than that of the sun already we know that the moon is closer to the earth and the earth is closer to the sun so the difference between moon and sun is very much big so the moon is closer to the earth than that of the sun next point is tides means waves the earth located at the opposite point of the place where high and low tide experience at the same time it means that the earth which is located at the opposite direction if here high tide occur so the opposite direction also high tide will be there if you are the low side low tide will be occur so opposite side also show the low tide so in same time that the opposite direction shows the same thing when high tide in zero meridian 180 degree meridian also have high tide means see because of that opposite direction if in zero degree meridian high tide will be there so in 180 degree meridian also it show high tide whatever the tide show in zero degree meridian same degree will show in opposite direction also low tide in 90 degree east and low 90 degree west meridian see high tide bonds zero degree to 180 degree and in low tide we can see 90 degree east if east side will be 90 degree so west side also show the same degree that is 90 degree west now we have types of tides so there are two types of tides first is spring tides and second one is neap tide see these points spring tides spring tides occur on new moon day and full moon day when will this spring tides occur it is occur on new moon day and full moon day next is neap tides neap tides occur first and the quarter day of each month mean each and every month of first and the quarter day neap tides occur gravitational pull sun and the moon in same direction because of this gravitational force the sun and the moon are showing the same direction the force of the sun and the moon operate at right angle 
already we saw that 90 degree east and 90 degree west meridian same like that the force except by sun and the moon they shows right angle they shows the right angle higher at the average and high tide and lower than the low tide if high tide occur so the average will be higher and if low tide occur so the average will be lower in spring tide and in nip tide little lower than the average high tide means here high to higher here high tide occur but there will be little lower we can see the high tide but not that much high it will be little lower and a little higher than the average low tide and in low tide it shows little higher tides means in nip tide high tide show lower tide and low tide shows the higher tides effects of tides now what are the effects of tides see these points fish moves into the creeks creek means a narrow piece of water a narrow piece of water where the fish moves and this activity is also help for fishing next clear waste coast clean see clear waste means whatever the waves the tides come towards the coast at that time they gets all the dirty parts of that coast towards with themselves so that's why the tides clear the waste and coast will become clean ports do not get filled with sediments sediment means matter that settle bottom of the liquid means whatever the matter whatever the substance will be there they got they get settled of the liquid and port means see like bus we have bus stand for train we have railway station same like that ports means where the ships are keeping ships can move during high tide during high tide ships can do their work ships can easily move from one place to another next sea water can be stored in salt pan to obtain salt for making salt we need that uh, we make uh, we make salt from sea water only because the taste of sea water is different it is salty so for making for obtaining salt we use salt pan to store the water tidal force used to generate electricity for generating electricity for producing electricity we use tidal force maintaining mangrove and coastal biodiversity mangrove means tree that grow in wet land wet land so the coast side of particular river it is also wet so in the edges in the coastal side we can see that some trees are growing lack of timing can use accident to swimmer it means that if a particular swimmer a particular person going for swimming but he don't know the particular time for swimming and at that time the high tide will occur or any other thing will occur so it is very much dangerous to the swimmer it may cause accident also next point timing of the tides change daily daily the timing of the tides will change daily the tides time change time difference of two high and low tide is 12 hours and 25 minutes already we have discussed that uh, in a particular day 12 hours and 25 minutes it takes to change the tidal timing so in but in one day we have two high tide and two low tide so the timing will be 12 hours and 25 minutes particular day are 50 minutes ahead from previous day from the previous day always in new day it forward from 50 minutes means 50 minutes today so in next day it will all forward from the 50 minutes so previous day timing will be changed ahead of 50 minutes next is waves next point is waves the sea water pushed by the wind and ripple see the water which flow the tides or the waves which flow towards ourselves it is because of the wind it is because of the wind and this wind and ripples ripples means a small waves a small tides okay sea water moves how the sea water move so sea water move up and down forward and backward large and small if you are going inside 
from the seaside or in a beach observe the water will come up and down like this it comes forward and backward also and sometimes the waves are very large and sometimes the waves are very small also now next point structure of the waves what is the structure of the waves rays of wave is called crest the waves which is very high it is known as crest crest means a group of feather and depressed one is called throw depressed means slow the low one it is known as throw throw means a long narrow container a long narrow container vertical distance between crest and throw is called amplitude vertically the distance between crest and throw is known as amplitude amplitude means vibration amplitude means vibration and wave length and wave length also wave length is amplitude and velocity depend on the velocity of wind velocity means the wave the energy the force which uh, wind give to the waves according to that force the waves will come forward to us next is velocity of the waves if a floating object thrown at a distance in the sea object move up and down at same place see if you throw anything on the water on that particular sea so the object it will never comes uh, uh, in and out it will comes like up and down but in same place the object will not change their place it just change the direction and direction will be up and down the water in the wave does not move what move is energy what we are thinking we are thinking that water moves like a waves towards ourselves but no water cannot move the movement is energy water cannot move from their place the movement occur like energy next is reason of wave generation what is the reason of wave generation why we generate waves first is main reason is wind the main and very important reason is wind air okay main reason is wind next it also generate due to earthquake or volcanic eruption below the floor of the sea means this reason this two reason first reason is wind is very important and the second reason to generate wave is earthquake and volcanic eruption earthquake and volcanic eruption is a natural calamity which is produced below the floor of the sea it is not above the floor of the sea it is below the floor of the sea because of this two reason we have to generate wave tsunami tsunami is a natural calamity destructive waves also called tsunami destructive waves means the waves the type which is forcefully come towards it is known as tsunami huge loss of life and property because of this natural calamities most of the people have been lost their life also and their property also now in 2004 near sumatra island of indonesia means in 2004 near sumatra island that is in indonesia because of the earthquake the the earthquake is a natural calamities and it occurred so most of the life and property will was lost devastated the east coast of india as well as sri lanka it devastated it get disturb the coast of india also and sri lanka means the incident happened in indonesia but the effect also in india as well as sri lanka it is better to go away from the coast or towards high altitude in time of tsunami we should not be there in particular coast we have to change the place we have to go from there and shift some other place but when we are when we will shift at that time we should be in higher altitude we should be in upper side so just it is better to go, go away from the coast it is better to leave that place and stay in some other place which is safe for us next is effect of waves what is the effect of waves first is cause erosion along the headlands cause erosion erosion means the rock by the sea it is known as erosion means the coast side it is caused by the rock of the sea 
they create beaches in the protected location in the bay means in some places we can see that water will be there sea is there river is there or stream but that particular place used as a beach so we people are going there to take some relaxation also so these beaches are good for us and it is protected means it is not dangerous or harmful to us we can easily go that place and enjoy so student this chapter is over i hope you will understand